Hi folks, welcome to my VWL Toys V911 review. Um, what I'm going to do today, because I was going to do this outside, but uh, let me just adjust this camera a minute. Sorry about this. There you go. Right, what I was going to do, I was going to do an outside review. Um, and show you how this works. Uh, I've already done a review on this on this helicopter, so I, I wasn't going to do a flight review. I just wanted to do a mod upgrade review. But unfortunately, it's been so windy these last few days, this won't fly. So I'm, I'm going to do a review on this in here. And... Um, Basically, this 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 flies more or less the same as it did standard. Um, it's ultra um, stable, uh, but you can probably, you know, watch any video on this on this helicopter, and there's not really much difference in um, in what it does. Now, I've got two here. I've got one box standard, and I've got one modified. Well, actually, they're both modified, but only um, one. The standard one's only modified in in that it's got it's got this on the back. Now, if any of you um, have got this model, you'll know that the, the wires at the back are exposed. And what happens is when you when you crash in long reeds or, or in a, a bush or something like that, most people will pick up the helicopter and pull it out. Um, you know, and what you get is the entanglement in the wires from the grass blade or, or a thorn bush or whatever will rip these wires out because they're exposed. Um, a lot of the other helicopters have got a shroud built around them. So what I did was... I've got a bit of heat, heat shrink tubing and put it over the top of the motor and I heat shrinked it on and then just cut it short of covering the, the other end and heat shrink that so it folded in on, in on itself. See? I mean those wires will never, no, nothing will ever pull them wires out and if you ever need to change the motor on this all you do is just peel it back. I don't know if you can use it again, but you could buy heat shrink in, in rolls, so, and you only need about, well, I don't know, about half an inch. I've done it on both of these. I've done it on my modified one as well. Now, the thing is, you, you shouldn't need to um, adjust the steering trim on this. I, I found on both these models that, that, that it was okay. I didn't need to. But, you know, every model's different, so uh, you might need a couple of clicks to the left or a couple of clicks to the right, you know, so that when it's flying, it, it you know, it doesn't do that, it just stays stable. Um, yeah, so that, that's worked out quite well. That's, it doesn't add really much weight to the end of it, it's probably 0.1 of a gram or something like that. So you shouldn't need to adjust the steering. Now, the second thing I've done on this was I got this um, paddle type fly bar um, on there. Now, on the standard one, you get these barrel type fly bars, which are, which are um, quite, well, they're not weighty, but they're, they're a lot more weighty than, than um, what the, the, the paddle one is. There's the paddle one upside down. Now, as you can see, the weights are a lot smaller a lot less, there's a lot less weight on the whole thing, and in actual fact, it's shorter as well. I don't know if this camera will pick it up, but there you go, it's it's about, I'd say, I'd say about an inch shorter, so half an inch either side. Um, they're more aerodynamic because they're, they're um, knife edged, uh, and they're sort of like an aeroplane wing, see they're, they're contoured. Now, there is one thing you're going to have to do on this before you fit it, because they come a bit thick. 
in the middle. So what I've, got, what I've got here are two types of women's nail files. These make excellent model um, trimmers, like to trim plastics down. I've actually um, nicked the blade a couple of times, and um, what what I, what I do is I do it on quadcopters as well. I get these nail files, and I just gently take off all the all the rough burring and nicks off the wing. And I haven't had to replace one yet. Um, I've got a fine one here. That's the fine one. That's the rough side. And then I've got the metal one, which is um, sort of super fine. So you can you can go over all the rough edges and get it as smooth as possible, and then just just round it off with that. I've crashed this oh hundreds of times. I've gone into buildings. I've gone into um, poles. I've, I've hit a car a couple of times, a parked one, mind you, um, and there's not a thing wrong with it. There's there's no nicks in it at all. I've got them all out with this. But anyway, going back to this this mod, what you're going to have to do, you're going in the middle there. You've got a hole that goes obviously in the um, in the middle there. Your your bouncing point on the uh, shaft. Now, when you do this, it's gonna to be too tight. So what you have to do, you have to run this up and down about 10 times, not much, um, both sides, about 10 times, and then you, you, it'll go on now, and it, you wanna screw that screw, there's a little screw there in there, and you wanna make sure that the other end comes out so you've got quite a bit poking out the other end. Uh, now, by now, this will be really tight. So what you want to do is you want to back it off a couple of turns until it's like this, until it's really floppy. Once it's like that, you know you're okay. You do not want it tight at any point. So that's the only modification you're going to have to do on that. Unfortunately, I bought a few of these and they're all the same. They all need trimming down. Right, the third modification I've done is I got a pack of five of these 200 milliamp an hour batteries. They're, they cost me £4.20 and they're 200 milliamp an hour. And the standard one, I believe, is 140. They're 140 milliamp. And they give you about seven minutes, six, seven minutes flight time so I'd imagine the, the 200 would give you about 10 now as I've got a pack of five there you know that's 50 minutes worth now the odd thing is the standard battery if I can find this ah oh, 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 there it is the standard battery is 6.2 gram the uh, the 200 milliamp one is actually lighter it's 5.8 and it's the same size now you'd think that you know 200 that's what 60 60 milliamp more than the standard one would be longer but nope and heavier but it's exactly the same so um and i do believe you can go up to on this type of battery you can go up to 240 but it's a bit pointless because I've got five of these. I've got seven in total. So why would I need 40 milliamp more? It's not going to give you much more flight time, really. So, you know, when I run out, I'll just change them for another battery. So that's the third mod. Uh, I am currently waiting on a, a swash plate conversion, um, which, to be honest with you, I don't think it's going to make much much uh, difference on flight I think it's just like um, a funky color and I'm really all I bought it for is just a spare in case the bearing goes on this or one of the linkages breaks or something um, but that's in blue and I think that's made from that Derrin material which is kind of like a nylon plastic composite but yeah so unfortunately I would love to show you this this flying, I did fly it around my bedroom the other day and it flew super smooth. Um, now, as regards to fly bar slap, 
You will still get that with this, but it won't do it as often, and only if you're flying aggressively. See, what you've got to remember is that these fly bars are like pendulums, like, like uh, you know, they're, they're a balance bar. And what happens is, is if you're too aggressive on the pitch, as you can see there, it goes down and it slaps the canopy. So you look, you, you'll get bounce and it will slap the canopy. But as this is shorter, it doesn't it doesn't do it as much. It will still do it, but not as much. Um, but it does keep it stable. And being smaller and lighter weighted, it still doesn't affect it. It still it, it flew perfectly, to be honest. I even did it outside last weekend and um, it flew lovely just slightly less fly bar slap but it flew lovely now fly bars are best used for um, slow flying practicing um, hovering and basically just just going nice and easy and getting getting used to the um, you know flying a helicopter that's the main purpose of a fly bar um, it's no good for, for flying aggressively because it, you'll just get canopy slap. Uh, but as, as a practice helicopter, and this is what it is, a practice helicopter, it, you, you can't beat it. It's, it's brilliant. You know, outside in, in next to no winds, it's fine. You know, but um, any, anything more than that, and it, you just haven't got the, the pitch and the speed to, to fight the wind. Not not like the V930, which is fly barless. And I can fly that in you know in any kind of weather in it and it's okay. But yeah, well there, there's my mods anyway and, and a brief discussion on uh, fly bars and everything. And uh, I like this so much I, I bought two you see. I've got I've got a BNF one from um, Banggood for I think it was about £17. So this is going to be my spare and this is going to be my um, my practice one. This is going to be my modded one that I'm going to, I'm going to do and uh, the other one's just going to be a spare um, or or maybe just maybe just um, one to muck around with when I, when I go out and about when uh, that one's been worked on because as I said I, I want to do some mods on the swash plate and everything so one of them's going to be out of commission but yeah definitely worth getting one of these if you can they're 99 pence each um, so you know silly money really isn't it uh, I have snapped my original one that, that came with this um, so they do snap but then they're, they're very hard they're very hard to snap. So I had to get a replacement anyway and I thought, well, you know, upgrade it. Why not? Shorter so it'll do less uh, slaps. Anyway, uh, that's a brief, brief discussion on um, the WL Toys V911 Pro. Okay, well, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.